And hello again, folks. It's Darren here, Fuzzy Dice Motors. So hello, Fuzzy Dice for fans and fiends and everybody in between. Another dealer auction walk around. And uh, so uh, for those of you who are new here, I'm Darren. I own Fuzzy Dice Motors in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We are at a dealer only auction in Springdale, Arkansas. And without any further uh, yip yip for me, let's go have a look around. Well, what about a 1996 BMW Z3 with a Razorback Hulk? That's right. 174,000 miles. And I took a quick peek. Yes, I cheated. I did it without you guys. And uh, there we go. Back up a little bit. And unfortunately, we got huge dent here. Scratches here. We got damage there. Damage there. The top, which is odd, looks brand new. Um, door handle doesn't match. This is all tore up. Seat is gutted. We've got we've got red carpet. Um, it's a manual. That's going for it, I, I, I guess. But man, um, the other seat doesn't look much better. Looks over there. Um, wow. Um, there's a, there's a lot going on here, and uh, most of it's bad except for the except, except for the top. It's um, it's like the poor little car was given up on. Which, by the way, I think I think this is a beautiful body style. I'll, I always have. Um, it's just uh, man. Um, if you were to put all the money in this to uh, make it right again. Would you, would you come out ahead or would you lose your ass? Um, comment below and tell me, would you make any money on this or would you lose your butt? I'm moving on. Well, how about a 1999 Pontiac uh, Grand Prix, which those, these were nice cars when they came out, but let me get, get you down here so you can see something. Oh yeah, yeah, it goes all the way, I believe. Uh, it's an SC, so, uh, you know, it's not anything real special. But, uh, wow, the seat actually, the seats and the center armrest there on the console, they're not tore up. That is amazing, man. All right. The door panel is fair condition. But this back seat, back seat looks okay. A little dirty, could use a cleaning. It's amazing. Okay, so what's the miles on? 127. Well, I'm going to get you guys here so you can see. 127,000 miles on a 1999. Mm. And it's got the uh, 3800 V6 under the hood. So the thing probably still actually runs really well. Um, I'm just a Pontiac guy. I have no interest in bidding on this car, especially with the rust, which uh, seems to be... Yeah, it's on both sides, and it's actually... Uh, see that or not but uh it's actually much worse on this side but anyway it's just an old pontiac so i thought i'd stop by real quick take, take a look and uh the interior actually did surprise me considering this age let's all go to the murder van the murder van the murder van who can chop you up the murder van man can yeah well i'm walking up on something it's missing it's center caps, but um, let's take a quick look at this. The sun is setting, guys, and uh, I know it's going to start really washing out the the video, and I do apologize. This is an 05. Of course, it's a uh, Infinity Coupe, a G35, 134 on the clock. Let's see, do we have messed up seats yeah we got messed up seats we got messed up things down there hanging up or ha hang on hanging down it's, it's called gravity um tears in the seats tears in the center armrest it's an automatic back seat is fair um this is in case you're new here. This is the uh, the fancy guy's Nissan 350. Of course, just like the uh, the 350 was bumped to the to the uh, 370, the G35 was then bumped up later on to the G37. 
always lock up. These are great looking cars. Got a little sunroof. Uh, the tires and wheels are definitely oversized for the vehicle. Got some clear coat damage. Once again, it is an 05, so, you know, not new. All right. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to mess with this one or not. Now, what about this, guys? How about a 2018 uh, Mercedes C43 AMG, 12,927 miles? And yes, it is an AMG. And uh, it's a bi turbo, 4 Matic. Wow. Let's take a look around this. Wheels are dirty. I guess we can forgive it. My car hasn't been, been washed in years, so I really I have no room to talk about anything really being dirty. But I was surprised at how dirty that Ferrari was and really what, what condition. Um, really surprised. Okay, enough of my surprise. Let's, uh, oh wow. Look at this, got, got the cool wood here inlay. Got the red stitching. We got the red stitching on the steering wheel, the flat bottom. Really nice boisters. Red stitching all the way around. Someone has come in and they've glued an iPad to the instrument panel, which is strange. Not sure why you do that, but they did. See the key over there? So uh, let's go ahead and look in the back. Yeah, the back most likely has not been set in. Yeah, I got inside without going, which is huge. We're gonna put down this uh, sunshade because man, the sun is just in the right spot, if you know what I mean. Right by being wrong. Here we go, beautiful gauges. Got a Mercedes analog clock. Which is nice. We're going to do the old. Oh, yeah. And we're going to try to figure out how to turn the radio off. Um, it's not like I'm monetized, but uh, I probably never will be. But I still need to figure out how to turn the, uh, at least the radio off. Let's see. Um, okay, just a second. Backup camera is working, and yes, it took me a while to figure out the uh, the volume button. Uh, I'm not proud of it. Definitely not proud of it, but it did take me uh, way longer than it should. Try not to hit the Kia back behind me. Okay, now we're gonna put her in drive here. Oh, we got a malfunction in our. Uh, Fantastic suspension, it says on the screen. That's really unfortunate. It's going to start beeping here in a second, folks, but because the seatbelt's not on, and I know I don't want to hear it, and you don't want to hear it either. So there goes the uh, camera work. I was really working on that camera work, too. And, uh, okay. We're going to go ahead and go for a little drive here. Oops, we got we got traffic folks. We got traffic. Whoop whoop. That was my alarm, the boop boop. That was probably the lamest sound I could come up with. That's why I did it. Uh totally intentional. I wanted to sound lame and mission accomplished. Okay, so let's see. Almost out of gas it says, which is good. Well, She's feisty. Little feisty minx is what we have here on our hands. Okay. What if we go around one more time? Goodness. Yeah, yeah, she's peppy. She's peppy. Malfunctions be damned. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey. Okay. Let's put this back now before they ask me to leave and not ever come back because I was assing around. Assing around, ass up, ass back, and ass down. I, I don't know what that means. Okay, uh, I should be able to find out where I put this because I had to back up this uh, white Kia to get this car out. So, and there we go. We're gonna put it right back where we got it from. Well, guys, I had fun and fun, and I, I hope you guys had fun too, because I certainly did. Now we got to figure out how to put it in part. We pushed a button, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. But ooh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get outside and take a look at the engine and see what we're working with. All right, there we go. Unfortunately, it doesn't say any longer who uh, made the uh, engine used to the uh, AMGs it, it tell you hand built by Serge or you know somebody Hans Hans Gruber or something Yeah, all right anyway So it looks like we got ourselves a three liter v6 about 362 horsepower like I said this uh, is a uh, Formatic meaning this is an all wheel drive vehicle. There we go. Zoom out so you can see the car. And I love the bi turbo. So this is a twin turbo uh, three liter. So sweet. All right, moving on. And right here, folks, until very recently, was a white Jag. And uh, there we go. That's a uh, Nissan. But uh, there was a white Jag sitting here just a little bit ago, and someone had it running. And sometimes when a person does that, they're running it uh, to see if it's going to overheat. Or sometimes once the vehicle is warmed up, uh, your transmission will act up. It won't act up when it's cold, but once it gets warm, it will. So it serves two purposes. One, to see if the transmission is going to act up. And two, to see if it overheats. And uh, so someone had it running, so I didn't mess with it. But now it's missing, so there should be a beautiful white Jag right there, and it's not there. So I guess I'm not looking at it. Moving on. I probably won't drive this one, uh, but this is a 2016 Mustang GT. Uh, it looks like someone's put a custom grill on it. 79,000 miles. It is a manual transmission. I don't think that's a factory hood scoop at all. I don't think those are factory wheels. Of course, you know, I hate black wheels they also got the uh, i don't know but anyway uh, i i am a huge mustang guy i love mustangs i think this body style here is a very attractive body style um and again please forgive if the video is washed out it's just because it's that time of day folks and the sun is up in the horizon to where it's going to wash out video but uh, anyway uh there this is i guess i don't think i opened the door on it we, uh, that's on me I opened it I think off camera so we'll go ahead that's an old uh, Tahoe or something making all that noise seats seem to be in great condition it is a manual like I said uh, it just seems to be in overall great condition inside and out these door panels are very very nice those, those are nice someone hot riding a car that's not a hot rod okay this seems to be <laughs> it seems to be uh, epidemic right now everyone's hot riding around in these cars and it's kind of kind of weird well folks how about a 2015 Jaguar maybe I said that correctly I don't know any English folks British folks down there or from the UK let me know 116,137,000, I mean, I'll start over again, 116,137 miles, or 116,000 miles. The car at first glance looks okay. I do have it running. I, I, I did cheat, guys. I jumped in there, and I got it started. I don't know about that hood. Is that hood open? Maybe I opened it. No, I didn't open it, but uh, 
look at this gap right here move over here and look at that that's not exactly right one of We're just gonna walk around it real quick. We gotta look for damage. Two big old sunroofs up there. Yes, sir. Big old sunroofs. Burp -a -derp. Three liter XJL. So this is a little bit longer than your normal XJ. I got the window down here in case the doors wanted to lock when I got out. I don't really see any check engine lights on, which being a Jag, that's kind of odd. You would expect a, a check engine light. Let's go ahead and get in here and try to find the, uh, oh, my hat's falling off. Yeah, doing all this stuff one-handed is a little difficult at times. I smell oil. This is supercharged. Um, and also, you can see some fumes coming up. I think this probably needs valve cover gaskets, and I guarantee you, valve cover gaskets in this is probably going to be a big pain and a heavy expense. So what I, what that means is, from a dealer standpoint, and yes, folks, I'm a dealer. I own Fuzzy Dice Motors in beautiful Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, but anyway, what that, all that means is, is you're gonna have to get it cheap. You're gonna get the car cheap, so that way you can afford the extra expense. You know, I don't know. Now that I shut it. That gap that was there seems to be gone. So maybe, maybe uh, that was um, not shut correctly. Okay, I'm gonna turn this camera off just for a second, folks, and get in there. We're gonna take this sucker out for a little drive. Haven't driven one in a while. Okay, guys, we are in, and uh, I should have did a better job of getting uh, the interior because uh, even though they can be problematic, very few car manufacturers do what Jaguar does uh, with their interiors. And it's a very nice place to be. We got the leaping Jag on the seat. Beautiful, beautiful brown leather interior. Everything is, in fact, leather and metal and, and wood and, and just all that. Beautiful clock love these vents here uh of course this thing here will pop up i'm sure you've seen it on other youtube channels this will pop up and go back down uh suede or alcantara uh headliner but okay uh we don't have a whole lot of gas in this thing so put on the brake hit drive and yes the backup camera does in fact work um so we're just gonna take this out for a little drive I forgot what the miles were on this. I looked and uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, because I did it so horribly wrong. It was 116,000 miles. I remember now because, yeah, I said it like I had some kind of a, of a mental defect. I mean, I, I probably have a lot of mental defects, but usually uh, just looking at numbers and reciting them is not one of them. So we're splashing water around like a big dog. A big dog splash water, I guess. Um, Yes, sir. There's there's your supercharge, uh, er, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna zip over this way. Yeah, this may be our. Uh oh. There's something in those wheels. As a rubbing, I don't know if it's brakes. A rotor. A CV axle, a wheel bearing. I don't know. There's a little something in there. I don't think it's terrible. Once again, no check engine light. 
with 116,000 miles on it. Okay, we're gonna take it easy. Got some cross traffic going. Yeah, so this is probably gonna be the last vehicle that I drive. This is A0515. You know what? All right, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this off um, and uh, get this thing parked. All right, guys, I got it parked and I don't know if you can see it. About 116,000 miles and uh, yeah, we got some smoke. So uh, we're probably gonna let this one uh, go into somebody else that's uh, more deserving. 2016 Subaru WR RX STI and uh, 80,000 miles and boy oh boy um, looks like we may we may or may not have every performance upgrade known to man and uh, this is a hard 80,000 miles this is hanging off grills missing got some goofy goofy wheels I don't know there's no clearance. You can't even put your finger in there. There's no tread. Zero tread all the way around. When, when you do this, it makes the car almost impossible to actually drive. I mean, it may look cool sitting here still, but uh, driving it on city streets is going to be just absolutely, to me, to me, next to impossible. You're going to wind up damaging all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure it's super fast. Huge. Uh, exhaust carbon fiber at least carbon fiber look-alike stuff all over the vehicle um, so we got maybe I don't know if it's a, it looks like the the factory wing but I don't know about this maybe it's I, I don't know probably just for looks I'm sure someone can tell you but it does something great but it may not I'm gonna open up the door here well the interior actually looks really nice it's not been uh monkeyed with i don't know if that carbon fiber is factory it may be an option but it's probably just in a little add-on from ebay they clipped on it or something but uh of course it's a manual you know being an sti uh but the seats are looking great uh the gear shift knob uh the center armrest the door panels everything looks great just that you know guys you know this car it was driven it was put through the paces and also makes you nervous too it's got about five little trees uh air fresheners in there it's never a good sign but uh when i see something modded to this extent well you just know uh this car was it, it was it was treated very poorly uh yeah that's probably why it's here at auction moving on and as the sun is starting to go back behind the clouds, or actually it's, it's probably setting, uh, we're looking at a 2016 BMW 740i with 55,000 miles on it. And guys, if you if you like big cars, well, this is about as big of one as you're going to get nowadays. And uh, she she big. Oh yeah, she big. Mercy. One of them Elvis size cars. I I don't pretend to know what that means. But uh yeah, this is a big car. This would be it'd be comfortable. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and take a peek in here. There we go. Give everybody a good view here. See what we're working with? Man, look at those seats. You know this is heated and cooled and heck, they may even massage. I don't I don't know. If this was a Mercedes of this caliber, you you know you'd have massage massaging seats. I'll get it out here in a minute. But I don't know about the uh, BMW. But I gotta show you guys the uh the leg room. What car can you get right now that has that much leg room? Well, you can actually not have your knees stuck in your mouth. Which now some people, they like to have their knees in their mouth, but you know, I'm not, I'm not here to judge. 
No, that's not it starting. That's someone back behind me. Um, I, I may need to get in this. That's what he said. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, boy. This is... It's comfy. It starts. We don't know about anything else. Let's close the door. Oh, yes. Yeah, safety last. Uh, man. This is a big, heavy, comfortable car. I'm going to show you everything. Look at the uh, roof, uh, the sunroof there. You got a go back gear. It's another sunroof. Flip it around. Yep. You've already seen that, so my apologies. Looks like that's leather up there or suede or something. No, I, I, that's uh, leather. My goodness. This is nice. We've got a heads up display. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not, but eh, there you go. I guess you can. But yeah, this is this is nice. And holy crap, there's no check engine light. Now I say that, but there was no check engine light on that Jag either. And uh, there was some smoke coming out of the uh, exhaust pipe. And also there was also, of course, it was uh, definitely an oil leak under the uh, hood which I'm assuming, if we know what that does, I'm assuming it was the uh, valve cover gasket. Wow. So let's see. Oh, crap. Boom. To shift gears, it said to do something. I don't know what it was. Let's see. Oh, hit the unlock button. I don't know what that is. What is the unlock button? Neutral, okay. Reversed. Oh, look at that. Fancy. 360, everything. What about drive? There's drive. Okay, I figured it out. And look. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to drive this one. It is getting late, folks. Uh, go ahead and put it in reverse. Oh, it's telling me to stop. Okay, we are, are back in park. Okay, very, very nice car. If you're going to go on a, on a long road trip, folks, I would, you know, this is what something that you'd want to be in because you're definitely, you're going to be comfortable. Uh, it's probably not going to get great gas mileage, but still. Um, let's go ahead. I, I, I keep forgetting. go i keep forgetting to show engines and i know so many people they want to see that and i would too if i was watching please forgive the photography whenever i'm getting in and out of a vehicle it's, it's not going to be good my goodness there seems to be a lot under here twin power turbo now is this a v8 since it's a seven series or is it a uh an inline six or is it a big uh or is it a v6 i know i can check the emissions uh label uh i don't have my old man glasses on so what i'll do is i'll let you guys look yeah there you go and i'll look at it later and we can both learn together isn't that nice we're learning whether we want to or not you will learn okay when you show this crack you still notice that that's going to be expensive because it's got all the crap inside the can uh the windshield rain sensing stuff and this and that and everything else but uh there we go there it was and there it went well all right folks i guess with that i'm gonna go ahead and skedaddle out of here have you ever skedaddled I guarantee you, if you're trying to break into a warehouse late at night and you hear the police sirens, you're going to skeet at them. But anyway, uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, as always, folks, it's better cars, best prices. It's fuzzy dice. Or say it with me, no dice. Thank you. <laughs>